Welcome to the tutorial for SEO Analyzer add-on for Concrete 5. This add-on is basically a way for you to analyze uh, the SEO information for any URL and you can do this through your dashboard. The, the idea of this add-on is to basically help you compete um, online, of course, with uh, your competition. Let's say, for example, you have a, a you have a competitor that is showing up in search engine uh, rankings uh, higher than yours. Like say, you know, they're showing up like number one or number two, and yours, let's say, yours is not as high. Uh, you would like to figure out what they're doing. You can this this add-on helps you figure out what it is that they are doing with their SEO. Um, and of course you can analyze any URL so you can analyze your own website as well. So let's get started. Um, uh, when you first install this add-on it is installed as a dashboard page uh, underneath system and settings. So you go there then it's, uh, it creates a page under the SEO and statistics section so it's right so it'll display here. Um, now when you first get there you'll simply see this. Uh, now uh, let's enter uh, basically any URL. I will analyze one of my clients. And uh, now you got to enter the full URL in there. Um, to you, you could you could actually do it without the HTTP uh, on there as well, and it, it should work the same way. Um, uh, I, but it's just it's safest to use the full URL from just to be sure that you have everything on there correctly. Now this analyzes the index page since we entered just the root, uh, you know, since we just entered the the main URL. This is going to analyze the index page. So as you can see here on this first tab, uh, just the basic metadata such as me, uh, your meta title. Um, meta, you know the keywords and the meta description. Uh, the response here shows your URL. This is pretty much going to be exactly. This should match. This is supposed to match uh, what is up here. Uh, in some cases, you might get a different code. Uh, for example, if you entered a URL a page that does not actually exist, uh, you would get say a 400 code. Now, if you don't know what, uh, what that whatever code now, 200 is a correct request. Uh, I included a help tab that shows what the codes are and what they mean. So that that should help you um, as well if, if you don't know what a certain code means. Uh, but in most cases, you're probably going to get a 200 or a 400, um, or maybe perhaps a 403 or 404 or something like that. Uh, if it's you know if the page is not found or doesn't exist or something like that. Um, so that's that's what that is. Uh, the page text this shows all the text that is, that is on that page, and uh, the page links this just shows all the links that are on that page as well. That links out, um, and then your word density, or otherwise known as keyword density, uh, this shows uh, all your main keywords uh, in the in phrases if it's available um, two word phrases three word phrases one word uh, and then what I, this density is uh, it, it basically means that say there's eight occurrences of this word service for this page uh, at a rate of four percent roughly so uh, this this basically helps you now of course you know the higher the better but you know, the, this just helps you analyze stuff like that. Now, as you as you know, we can analyze any. Then this is a, an ex, this is a completely different uh, URL that we analyzed. Uh, so you can analyze, like I said, any URL. It doesn't matter what it is. Now, for this install of Concrete that I have, I I'm going to analyze the homepage here for that, uh, which is c 5 dclocalnet uh, so if you want to analyze your own site, it can easily do that as well. Now, I, uh, because this is simply a demo website, I did not include any keywords, therefore it will not show that. So if, if it, something is not available on that page, it simply won't show it. It'll just show, you know, blank on there. 
uh, you know, in this case, you know, there's not very much text. As you can see, you know, there's fewer links. Uh, not very much density at all. You know, it's just a real simple demo website. Uh, so as you can see, it does work with sub domains, uh, subfolders. Uh, it works with any URL. It doesn't matter what page it is. Um, you know, just make sure you enter the full URL for that. Now, let's say, for example, I'm going to go back to my client one here, uh, service. Vacuum.com. Let's. I'm gonna just do a random page here, which I know does not. Ex I know it does not exist on that website. Now here's what happens. It it simply it, it still pulls the website uh, in there, but it will not show. This is what shows up. You know, simply nothing. It shows your status code. Look at that. Page, uh, status code 404, which was this page not found so you know in case you know you enter a page that doesn't exist uh, maybe uh, you know you're looking up a URL maybe you have a list of URLs you'd like to look up and maybe one of them no longer exists so you might get something like that for example uh, now another error that might happen is something like this like say you enter only two W's out instead of the third the three which you're supposed to uh, enter the two And this is what happens if you do something like that. Uh, Say, so, you know, now that's just maybe a human error there, you know. So this will simply display this error message. So uh, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Um, you know, that's, that's this tool should be really useful. I, I really believe it'd be beneficial for you to to use this, um, you know, for your SEO improvements. And uh, so there you go. Thanks for watching.